Oh. I don't have a script for this. So, a uh, bit of rambling. You're going to see jump cuts throughout this whole thing. That's just going to be what it is. You know, no other way around it. I'm going to teach you how to install your Epic Games games, Epic Games Store games on Linux. I'm specifically using Manjaro, which is Arch-based, but this will work on pretty much anything Linux ways. Let's switch over to the desktop. Here we have my desktop. I'll go ahead and clear my terminal so you can kind of see my hardware just in case you wanted to. We're going to install a program called Legendary. This program is a front, front end for the Epic Games Store. The only issue is it doesn't have a GUI at all, no, no user interface at all. So I'm going to have flashing on the screen. I'm going to make it big and bold and text on the screen. The, the GitHub repository for this particular program. But if you are running Arch, you can actually come here, go to the, the, the install application store and type in legendary and it's one of the first results. You're looking for the one that says a free and open source replacement for the Epic Games Launcher. You install that and you have to run this through the terminal first up. And basically the first thing you have to do, the very first thing you got to do when you open it, is type, all these commands are going to start with the word legendary. I'm typing with one hand because I sprained my, my wrist a week or two ago and it's still not great. You type in legendary off. I'm already logged in. But if you're not logged in, it will open up a browser page for you to log in with. And that's how you would log in. And once you log in once, you're pretty much set unless you want to log into another account. Now, how do you install games? Well, you type in legendary install in the app name. But you don't know the app name because the app name isn't necessarily the game name, right? Those are two different things. So you're going to type in legendary list dash games but I typed in dash because I'm smart and that's going to list all of your games that you have tied to that account I don't know if every single game is going to run great I have yet to run into an issue this automatically you will also have to have wine installed and set up uh, but this will automatically use wine for you I believe kind of like Lutris for that uh, so you'll see here, like, Batman Arkham Asylum, the app name is Godwit. So to install that game, I would type in legendary install Godwit. Make sure to capitalize the G in Godwit. All of the app names are to start capitalized, unless it's a string name, like for Alien Isolation. But what if, we'll use Godwit as an example. What if I want to install to a specific path? Well, if you scroll down, to where was it? Okay. So if I do, you can change the base path by doing dash dash base dash path and then the path you want. Or you can do it per each game by at the end of your command typing in dash dash game dash folder and then your path. So if I want to install Batman Arkham Asylum, was it one T or two T? Uno Memento, let's see, Batman Arkham Asylum, 1T. And I want to install it to my my uh, external hard drive that I use. I already have my thing up here, that way I can just pop it in there. It's called being prepared, it's like having the cake already baked instead of the, the thing. I do that. And there it goes. Takes a second. Do I wish to install? Yes or no? Yes. And there it goes. It just downloads. That's it. That's all I have to do to get it to install. Once it's done installing, I'll pop over to how I personally run these games. Because you can run it by just typing in the command, you know, launch game. So like, 
legendary launch godwit for Batman Arkham Asylum, but I have a different method. Now I'll go ahead and set up that method while I'm waiting for this to, to load. So we'll cut over to that. So here you'll see my Epic Game Store games that I currently have installed. These are all scripts that I wrote. That I say wrote, they're not really complicated scripts. It's basically just the command to launch the game instead of a bash file. But still, so what I do is I go to create new, text file. Uh, we'll name this Batman. Arkham Asylum. Oh, dot sh. Now we'll go to open with Kate, which is what I personally use. You can use any text editor. And for this, I already have an example of my previous one, but you're going to type in the pound sign exclamation mark slash bin slash batch so make sure there are no spaces or else it won't work that would be again <laughs> ah. boom boom slash bin slash bash just like that and then you'll hit space and you're going to type in the command to start the game which coincidentally just finished installing. So that would be legendary launch. Oh, lowercase. Launch. God wit. Now we're going to save it. And close it. Make sure to save. Now, this should just open the game. Oh, I have to make it an executable. My bad. So, next step is to make it executable, which we'll do by typing in chmod u plus x. And then we have to type in the address, which would be slash home. And then cas. And then type in the e for epic. And games, it automatically did that. And then we are going to type in b for Batman. There it is. And then we're done. And now we can just come here, double click it, and hit execute. Give it a second. Any minute now. It's a cooking up of something. Let's make sure that it's all good. So, oh, yeah, see, I misspelled launch. That would be the problem. Typos are bad. Open, execute. Yes, I accept. Sometimes you have to do this the first time. Um, some games don't, like Rocket League didn't have a problem. This is actually the first game I've installed that I've had to install DirectX with it, but it's really not a big deal. It just takes a second. And you only have to do it the first time you open it too. Gotta do it for everything. And the controller just works through this too. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller, but this works. Make sure that the screen. Ah. <laughs> I made it not respond because I minimized it. It is wine, so expect expect stuff like that. There it goes. My controller just works. As you can see, I'm playing the game and it automatically detected the Xbox controller and it the button prompts. Right out of the gate, no problem. And now all I have to do is execute that file and this game will launch. And you can do that for anything. You can also, again, just launch in the terminal if that's faster for you. That's that. It's not without bugs. Apparently it doesn't like to be closed that way. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And that is how you install Legendary and install games through it. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this shows a better alternative than running the Epic Game Store through a Wine uh, virtual machine, which always is just buggy. 
and this actually works half the time. So that's what I use. Oh well, hope this was helpful. See ya.